Welcome to the support team. This is Dennis. How can I help you? Uh, hello there, Dennis. I, I just got a couple of missed calls. You got a couple of missed calls from this number? Yeah, from this number. So I called it right back as soon as I could. I'm sorry, sir. Well, uh, my name is Dennis and Rio. The support for Norton. All oh, right. Okay, then Dennis Norton. Okay. Well, I do have a message about Norton. I, I got this charge of $400. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, I mean, do you have an inquiry about your product or what exactly is it? Uh, well, I, I would like to cancel this because I, I, don't, I don't really see the point of paying $400 for something that I can get from Walmart for $50. Hmm. Okay. I mean, well, what, why is it so much of expensive? You. Okay. Let me check in the details of your order before I could describe it. I mean, this, we can discuss the details. What is that you will pay okay. for? Why is it expensive? Now, to begin with, may I have your name, please? Oh, yeah. My name's John Thomas. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. And uh, could you also confirm your email address? Yeah, John Thomas, ESQ420 mm -hmm. at gmail.com. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, can you repeat that one more time? It's John Thomas. Oh, yeah, John Thomas. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. And uh, so you say that you got a message that you have a well, payment for $400? Well, I've got this $400 charge here, you know. It seemed pretty pricey. Why, why is it so much of money? It's just that one computer. No, well, even I need to figure out that. So uh, do you have any kind of an order number? Uh, yeah, hold on. Let me have a look at the message. 704-5615. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The payment method was a credit card or your bank? Uh, well, I, I don't know if it's gone through all, all the banking servers and whatnot. You said you, you just got one computer. I mean, are you next to the computer right now? Oh, yeah, I'm in front of the computer. Okay, give me a minute. Yeah. Let me try to pull up your other details. May I place your call on... Hold for a minute. Go ahead, please. All right, so well, uh, now I was trying to look up your order details using your name and your email. Now, I do see that this order was placed by James Green, and the location it shows here is for Detroit. Detroit? I'm not in Detroit. Yep. I, I live in Toledo in Ohio. Um, well, that's the information that I can see on the screen right now. It just said uh. it was placed by somebody named James Green in Detroit using your email address and other details. So are you sure that it was not you or maybe did you ask no, anybody? No, no. I, I ain't ever been to Detroit. The only guy I know in Detroit is Axel Foley, but he, he, he was a Beverly Hills guy. Hmm. You ever see that movie? Right, so... Uh, you, you ain't ever seen Beverly well, Hills Cat. Seems... I'm sorry? You ain't ever seen Beverly Hills Cat? What what movies do you like? I mean, why are we discussing movies? Well, because you aren't about Detroit. But anyway, we, we get, we're going off tangent here. Why is this guy in Detroit? And why is he ordering stuff on my account? Well, but we need to have that checked in detail. And if it's not, on, if it's not you who has made this purchase... Uh, we need to definitely cancel. Well, you know cancel. it's not me. It's this guy in Detroit. Okay. Yeah. So let me check that in detail and let us see how do we go about canceling this order so that we can save or you can refund you the money. Okay? Yeah, yeah. We, we got we got to cancel this stuff. So yeah. in order to check that in detail, we need to connect to our secure server so that we can look through it together to see how and where exactly things happened before uh -huh. we can proceed with the cancellation of your account. Oh, all right, then. Now we got to do that. How do we do it? So, uh, uh, as you said, you're next to the computer right now? Oh, yeah, I'm next to the computer right now. Now, may I know, so what browser do you use? Well, I got Google Chrome. I, uh, I tend to use Google Chrome a bit. All right, could you open up a new tab on your Chrome? A new tab, yeah. And uh, let me know once the tab is open. Oh, yeah, the tab's open. And that's a Windows computer, or you've got a Mac operating system? No, I can't be affording a Mac. I just got the old Windows. Okay, so one yeah. moment. Now, I want you to open the Google search. 
Now, I want you to type in a word that is ultra viewer. Ultra what? In the Google ultra. search. Ultra. Uh, ultra, ultra. That's you. No, What's no, me? it's just ultra. Ah. Space. Ultra space. Viewer. Okay. What do you see now once you press enter? Well, just this website, ultra viewer. Yeah, we got search results for some kind of remote. Remote fixation software. Yeah, click on the first link, which says Ultra okay. Viewer, the free remote desktop. Now, UltraViewer.net. And <clears throat> you see it where it says uh, download. Download, yeah. Please download yeah, I see it. that. Click on download. Okay. So do you have any not notification on your browser on the top right corner that it's been downloaded? Uh, okay, yeah. Okay, wait for Hi. like a minute or so. Yeah. Could you please open the downloaded file? Oh, well, I was supposed to download it? Yeah, you need to click on the, uh. where it says download. Now, please let me know once the download is complete. Well, yeah, it, it downloaded the thing. Dot .exe. So could you open oh, the downloaded file? Set up dot .exe. Yep, that's the one. Yeah. Okay. Just run the application. Okay, then. What does it say? Okay, it says no internet. I've just lost my Wi-Fi. You know, I'm on at Starlink right now. It, yeah, the the, uh, the internet is just reconnected. You know, I got that Starlink, and it cuts that every now and then. Oh, um, may I know where, where are you calling in from? Well, at the moment, I'm in Florida, but I live up in Ohio, in Toledo. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so just downloaded this ultra viewer, whatever this is. Yes. Yeah. Try to run that downloaded file, the, the setup file we downloaded. Okay. Uh, do you want to allow to make the changes on ultra viewer setup? Duck Fabulous Limited? Hello? No, just say next, next. Oh, well, it says yes. Mm hmm. Here we go. So continue with the positive responses on any kind of notification that you get right now. All right, then. What do you see now on the screen? Wait, just this green line. It says register and wait, launch Ultra Viewer. Yeah, launch Ultra Viewer. Okay. Finish. <clears throat> Once the application is ready, uh, I believe you would have a console up on the screen, which would say your, your ID, ID and your password. Your password. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Could you please share your ID? All right, thank you for helping me out. Could you please show me the email that you received from Norton? Oh, yeah, well, I've already done that on the other one. I'm sorry, you have already done that on what? I, I, on my tablet here, i got a tablet as well. That's why I'm logged in on I mean, the thing. Uh, I don't know why I'm getting this charge, you see. So I want you to open your email on your computer and help me with the email that you have received confirming the charge. Oh, right. Okay, then. I, I didn't quite realize what was going on here. I, I got my emails up here. And, yeah, yeah, it's from not oh, on your tablet or on the computer? Oh, well, yeah, it's on the tablet. You, you know, I don't know why I got the old thing. Let me check in the details. Uh, as okay. We see that the order was made from Detroit. Let me see if there are any... If your email ID is logged in in any other state or any other places, okay, please. Uh, oh, in another while I check state. Check details using you. Okay then. Yeah. yeah. So please be in the line while I look up for oh, yeah, yeah, the information go ahead, using your network. Well, it just it, there's a whole load of numbers on the screen. I don't know what that is. Now that that's the command that I have used to check in all the active connections that we have on your. Ah. Uh. Network. Now, do you see in the top it says active open? It's one zero. I'm sorry, one nine seven six. And then you have passive opens thirty two. Okay. I mean, uh, all these are numbers. These don't mean nothing to me. Uh, when you said look at the locations, I thought you were going to bring up map or something. Right. So I was just trying to check here if it was not you. Where exactly was this order placed from? If there was, well, if there was say any. Oh, unauthorized okay. access made to your I detail. I thought you said it was Detroit. Now, 
I'm sorry, yep, yeah, it, it is Detroit, but we need to make sure before we place the request for the cancellation. Now here these numbers indicate here 32, that's the passive connect, open connection under your name, and the websites that you're connected to right now, some of them are not secured websites that I can see here. They are, these uh -huh. are ending with HTT, no S included here. The S stands for security. And, and that means, yes, your details are being shared, and that's how it was used to place the order. Right, but those ones near the top say secure, then HTTP. So is that uh, secure or not? That. Uh, you see, uh, what is it? These ones here, they're both secure and HTTP. So does that mean they are secure or they're not? They're not. They're not, okay. It's a bit confusing there. So now uh, we need to actually place the request for the cancellation and initiate the refund. And also, you need to take care of these uh, security threats that we have right now, that, that they're connected to you, your well, network. Yeah, I don't like. want no Detroit boys going and, and ordering more stuff on my account. Please be in the line, okay? Okay, then. Now I would be... All right. Transferring this call to the security expert who would be assisting you further down to cancel of these connections and to initiate the refund. Okay? All right. Then. Yeah, please be in the line. You, you would hear his voice next. Okay. My name is Sam. I am a senior technician. I'm going to assist you further. Hello there, Sam. Uh Okay, yeah, yeah. If, if you could help me out, I'm a bit confused because all I see is numbers on my screen. Mm -hmm. Right. So yeah. let me explain you first of all what these things are. My previous technician informed me that someone has made a transaction by using your email address. Am I right? Uh, yes, some guy in Detroit. Exactly. So yeah. here I say that do you see on your screen these foreign addresses. Uh, what? What? The, you know, I se I selected that secure HTTP because I didn't know if that was secure or not. I don't really know. Because it says secure, but the other guy said it needed an ass mm -hmm. on the end. Correct. Yeah. And also, let me inform you that, do you see this local address? Uh, oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, it's a local address. Yeah, so this and local address. And there's all those numbers. Yes, I don't know what that means, though. Correct. So let me explain yeah. you what these things are. So these local addresses are your IP address. IP okay. address is like your personal identity number to do the internet surfing. All right. Didn't like, realize that. Yeah, like in real, yeah, in real world, we do have social security number as our identity. In the internet world, we do have our IP address as an identity. Okay. Oh right. So this is so, that my social security so of the fine. internet. Yeah. So you can say you can say this is okay. your IP address, social security number for internet. So this is okay. There is no problem with the local address. It is okay. The main okay, problem then. is the foreign address. The, the foreign this address? Is the main yeah. problem. Oh, that's a problem, yes. is so it? So let me tell you what is foreign address, yes. So the foreign addresses uh -huh. are, you can say this could be the third party, or you can say these could be the intruders or hackers who are trying to steal your personal information. Okay, then. I, I'm saying that, and why I'm saying that, because they have made the establishment with your network, and with your devices, do you see this established? Oh, yeah. Wait, how do you make that yeah. go all that? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, there we go. So it means that this could be the reason why they are taking your funds or they are trying to make the transaction by using your email address. So let me explain you how this thing works. So, and also we need to remove right, all these foreign the addresses Detroit, because they are he's got all these numbers, the, these, uh, yes. I don't know what they are. He, yes, here, here, here I see you do have multiple locations like Detroit, Alaska, and the last location here I see the taxes as well. So multiple, oh, as multiple well. third party or intruders are connected. Right, okay then. So what we and uh, let me explain can we how. change these numbers or so and uh, stop it going to yeah. Detroit? Let me tell you what we need to do. We need to okay. go ahead and remove all these um, foreign addresses because they are not good. 
and once we will be do that everything will be fine because you know these things are not good if the no, 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 is out there so may, yeah so maybe in future you will face same problem well as long as we can stop so, this detroit he, boy or girl i don't know from getting what, whatever all these orders from me mm -hmm. yes yeah, so what i will do i will go ahead and remove all those foreign addresses i will remove each and every one okay I will, yeah, I will remove yeah. the Detroit one as well as I will remove uh, Lazarus, the Florida, and I will remove Texas one as well. Okay. Okay. So first of all, yeah. I would like to explain you how these things happen because you should know why it is happening on your computer and other devices. Oh wait, some of this a pencil so, uh, here, uh, auto draw. Yes, so here I'm just trying to explain you how this thing happened. So let's say this is your home network. Okay, I will try to make you understand with the help of the diagram. And please don't mind, I'm really bad at drawing. Okay. No, that, that's so all right. Let's say, yeah, so let's say this is your home network. Okay. And with this home network, your multiple devices are connected. Like, let's say your computer, your tablet, and let's say your mobile device, and your router. Okay, then. So, when what I about visit my smart to the TV? I, I got a Toshiba smart TV. Yes, you can see the smart TV, correct. Okay. And whenever, whenever you visit to the unsecure websites, they can easily track your ip address which is connected with your home network and once your ip address is exposed those third party or you can say those hackers can easily make a clone of your all the devices they're cloning the devices yes how, how so right they now the devices? The device, okay so let me tell you like they are the hackers so they can put some codings they can do the codings and they can create a clone of your computer or they can make a clone of your email address they can easily make a clone of your ipad so I basically don't have why iPad. they do that because they need yeah so it's just an example all right then okay so why they do that because they want to take two things two things from your site like one is your identity so that they can do some kind of illegal activities by using your identity and the second thing is they need funds so right they now what? what they are trying to do yeah they need funds you or you can say they need money from oh you. they need money so yeah well that, we all need money nowadays yeah, so that, yeah. right so that's the reason yeah. they are making the transaction by using your email address okay so now okay. what we need to do we need to secure your device we need to secure your device i will put some security encryption so that those third party or those hackers won't be able to do anything with your device as well as we need to remove all those foreign addresses so that we can go ahead and fix the problem okay then okay so yeah. just allow me a moment i'm running a scan on it to check what is happening. Okay. And I have a question for you. Recently, have you clicked on any kind of emails, vicious email, or any kind of link? Well, not really. I mean, I log into my emails every day to make sure everything's mm -hmm. all right. But, uh, you know, you want about the adult websites because sometimes I do visit logs. Oh, yes. So if you, if yeah, you visit there, then yes, time. that could be the problem. Because those are not secure websites. They are uh. the unsecure websites. So there you do see the ad, ads. Do you see the ads there? So whenever you try to close those ads, <clears throat> yeah. from that uh, gateway, we have one, an enter to your It device. normally pops up before the main video pops up. And mm -hmm. it says, you won't last Correct. 30 seconds in this new online adult game. And it's got all these uh, mm -hmm. uh, cartoony women, uh, big, mm -hmm. big, they got big mm -hmm. chests. I understood. Yeah. Okay. And then there's Let the other advert where, where there's all these women in my local area, and all I got to do is click on yeah. them, and they'll say, 
hello, do you want to do whatever, you, you know, have a cup of tea. Okay, let me do it now. So I'm running okay. a scan. So just give okay. me a moment. Okay, and do you see this? Uh, errors and warnings on your screen? Error, oh yeah, there's two errors, well, three errors, but two at the top and some warnings. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, oh, there's 108 is, of them. They are 108. Yes. So let yeah. me tell you what they are. So these could be the possible bugs and viruses in your computer. Or you can say these could be the spyware which are allowing those hackers to use your credentials. Right. Okay, then. So to so, remove all of them as well because they are 108. So I will remove all of them. I will remove the nat uh, foreign addresses. I will secure your device. So that you can enjoy okay. your internet surfing okay oh yeah I, I do like to enjoy when i'm on land but that, that's what those those videos are for you know a case of self-enjoyment i guess you could say so how old are you well i'm in my 40s now you know starting to get on in years i should know better yeah but trust me you don't sound like 40s you sound like like uh, around 30s 35 Oh, well, you, you know, I'm only at 42, so, yeah, I mean, it's not too far from 35. Just allow me a moment. Let me check. Okay. I'm trying to remove all the foreign addresses, okay? All right. Then. Okay. There, there okay, was a whole so load of scrolling scan. stuff, a whole load of writing. I didn't know what yeah. it is. Yeah, so let me tell you, right now it is scanning. It is, remo it is trying to remove all those foreign addresses. Ah. So let's see. Once it be done, I will check again whether all these foreign addresses are removed or not. Okay. Oh, all right. Then. Yeah. Stay on the line yeah. with me. Okay. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do again, I'm going to check for the foreign addresses, and I'm trying to remove all of them. The scan is completed. What you can do, meanwhile, you can check your banking. If you find any kind of suspicious transactions, just let me know. I will raise a red flag to your bank. Okay, so you oh, can check your banking, okay, and I, I'm trying to remove all those foreign addresses. Okay. So, mm -hmm. what, do you want me to log into my bank? Yes, yeah, so you can just log into your bank, okay. and right now I'm trying to remove all those foreign addresses. Okay, I'm, I'm in my bank now. Okay, so now you can check your activities or history. If you find any kind of suspicious transaction, just let me know. Because okay. I'm not able to see anything right now. My screen is black. Oh, you, you can't see it then? Uh, no, I can't. Okay. Well, I, I think we might be all right because I don't see... What what was the charge here? The charge that you were, you said you uh, the, the Detroit guy had made. Mm -hmm. And apart from that, do you find any kind of suspicious transaction? Uh... No, like they all look normal. You, you got Joe's crap shit, this bar. Yeah, 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 they, they all look okay to me. So now on your screen, do you see any option like transfer? Uh, well, I was just looking at my latest uh, transactions here, my checking account. Okay. Um, yeah. On the very top of your screen, uh, yeah. do you see the options like account, transfer? Do okay. you see any options like that? Oh, you, well, I, I don't know what I'm going to be transferring. I thought I was just logging in to see okay, if, not, if Detroit We are not transferring payment. anything. We will try, yeah, we will try to check if yeah. anyone tries to transfer or not. So you need to check whether anyone transfers anything or not. Okay, but I, wouldn't that just be on my statements here? I got the, the Joe's crab check. Okay, so right, now, right now, are you in your statements? Uh, it, well, I'm, I'm just looking at my quick view on my personal account. Perfect. So it means that yeah. your banking is fine, everything is okay. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, I mean, I can't find anything here from Detroit. Okay. Understood. So it yeah. means that right now that transaction is in pending. It's not approved. Once it will be approved by your bank, that amount will automatically deduct it from your uh, balance. Okay, so what, we need to let the bank yeah. know and uh, tell them, no, you don't want, want to be charging this and we do it a cancel. Exactly. So
So yeah. from my end also, I need to cancel the transaction and I will raise a red flag to your bank about that transaction because that's a fraudulent charge. And also what I'm doing, I'm trying to remove all those foreign addresses, okay? Okay. So stay on the line with me while I remove them. Okay. Yeah, and don't mind my silence. Uh, no, I, I don't mind. So let me let me tell you what I have done. Out of those foreign addresses, I have removed only two. Still, I'm working on others. And what we need to do now, because I have raised a red flag to your bank, so now I'm going to get an email from the headquarter of your Bank of America. And then your bank is going to call you. They will confirm you whether this charge has been done by you or not. So you need to tell them that, no, you didn't make that charge so that they can cancel that transaction, okay? Okay, then. Do I need to hang up on you yeah. and they'll so call stay, me or? Uh, no, just stay on the line with me. Right okay. now, once they will give me the confirmation, then only they are going to call you. Oh, all right, then. Okay, and also I'm removing all those foreign addresses, so just stay on the line. Oh, okay. Okay, so now do you say there, I have deactivated most of them, but still there are some which are established. So I'm still, I'm trying to remove them, okay? Oh, okay then. Before the Detroit yeah, ones, guys. Stay on the line with me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just trying, I'm just working with the Detroit one, yes. Oh, okay. Yep, stay on the line. Yeah. Thank you for waiting. Oh, here we go. Hello. Okay, so uh, I have a question for you. By any chance, have you shared your email address with anyone in your family or friends? You, you know, a few people send me emails, but mm -hmm. so they know my email address. Okay. Yeah. And have you shared your credentials, like email address and password, to anyone? Not really, you, you know, because my wife, she passed away. So she, she, oh. she was the only other person who knew my my credit card stuff because she she would often like to buy stuff you know so i'm still working on these foreign addresses it may take oh, more yeah. time so you <clears throat> what you can do meanwhile you can go ahead and grab a glass of water oh okay then okay yeah just drink a water yeah okay I, I got a small bottle of water here i just have some of that <laughs> okay and um, have you done with your lunch Oh, yeah, I mean, it's at four o'clock here now, so, you know. And by any chance, do you use any antivirus? Uh, well, yeah, I guess, you know, whenever I'm logged in, it, okay, it's all, 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 all right. Oh, wait, my wallpaper seems to be gone. Yeah, because right now we are connected to the secure server, so once ah. we will be disconnected, you will see your wallpaper, yeah. Oh, yeah, because my wallpaper looked like a doll. Don't worry, it's still there. But right now, okay. okay. Do you see this? Uh, Virus yes. and threat protection. It is showing yes. us warning. Threat protection. It means that, yes, there are Set viruses one drive. and your threat protection not working. Why, why do I need uh, one drive? One drive, you can say it's a kind of uh, online cloud. Means, let's say, if you have some documents or pictures if you want to save you can save that thing in your one cloud oh do i have to buy that one then so you don't need to buy anything if you will set up for the one drive it is like uh it will uh, ask you about the credentials like your email address password oh right yeah we, we don't, so don't want to do that what yet. was this detroit city guy doing you know he might try and buy my one drive or buy Another one. Mm. Yeah. Right. And also, here I see you don't have any antivirus. Yep. You do not have any virus protection. Oh, right. And that is the reason why the, yeah, and that is the reason why those uh, hackers are able to crack into your system. And they are using your details. Oh, right. Well, we better get that sorted out then. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. So, um... Are you still transferring me to a bank? I thought you were going to transfer me to someone at a bank. Yes, yeah, so a bank is going to call you. And right now, I didn't receive any message, any mail from bank. So I'm waiting for the mail. So headquarter is going to send us the mail. Once they will send the mail, I will ask you, I will ask them to connect with you. 
So they will directly contact you and you will be able to connect with the bank. Oh, right. Okay. So what, how so long right do now, I have to wait for this uh, to go to the bank then? Uh, you don't need to go anywhere. They are going to call you, and uh, over the over the phone, they are going to cancel that transaction for four hundred dollars. Oh, okay. So, so I don't need to speak don't need to the to bank. Go anywhere, they'll they'll yeah. sort it out by themselves. No. Okay. No. Just stay no. there. They will be. They will, They are going to call you because I have just raised a red flag to them about that transaction. So uh, your bank will call you within five or ten minutes, might be. Oh, in five so or meanwhile, ten minutes. I'm trying to remove, yeah, and meanwhile, okay. I'm trying to remove all these foreign addresses. Okay, you you go ahead and I'll wait for the bank. Should I hang up yeah. on you so and stay on the line just with wait? You? Oh, oh, I ha uh, I'll stay on the line then. Yeah, you need to stay, yes, you stay on the oh, line. Okay. Because once I will remove all the foreign addresses, then I will show you what I have done, okay? All right, then. Yeah, stay on the line with me. Okay. Yes, hi. Uh, so I have just received a mail from your bank. And on this mail, I have received a mail from the headquarters. So they are saying they are trying to contact you. But due to the network glitch, they are not able to connect with you. So they have provided me the contact number from which contact number they are going to call you. So are you ready to write down the number? Oh, uh, you want me to write down the number? Hold on. Let me go get my pen yes. and paper. All right, I I'm ready to write down the number. Okay, so the number is, by this number, you just need to pick the call. Okay, yeah, I'll wait on that call. Do I hang okay. up on you and then and then they'll call me or, or uh, what? Yeah, just, just wait on the line because the last one, I'm going to remove the last foreign address. So once you will get a call, you just disconnect my call and pick the bank's call, okay? Okay, then. So once you get the call from the bank, just let me know and disconnect my call. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm just waiting on the call. Are you still there? I'm waiting for the bank. Hello? Yes, I'm still here. I'm working on those foreign oh, addresses. Oh, okay. How long is it going to be for this bank? I thought you said there'd be five or ten minutes. Uh, yes, it's, more, it's hardly it will take two minutes more. Oh, just another because, two minutes. Because, you know, minutes. there were lots of... Uh, because there were lots of uh, foreign addresses, so it's really hard for me to remove all of them. So I'm trying to remove. Well, so yeah, that's why it's taking time. Bank. Yeah. So I just need your zip code in order to remove the foreign address. Oh, four three six one three. Just allow me a moment. Okay. Could you please repeat? Four three six one three. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So have you received any call from bank? Oh, no, I'm waiting on the call from the bank. That was, that's what I was going on about. Oh, okay, let me yeah. let me send them one more mail. Oh, you sent them an email, did you? I was waiting for a phone call. Uh, I have just sent them the mail, and they are going to give you a call back. Well, yeah, that's what I'm waiting on. I'm and waiting me. on the call back. Is it okay yeah. to hang up yet and wait for the call back? Yeah, so just allow me a moment. Let me remove all those foreign addresses, and then you can hang up the call. Well, yeah, that's what I'm right waiting now, on. I on thought you screen, said you, you just see, did I the have last one. Okay. Yeah, this is the last one, and that for the Detroit, and that's the reason it's taking more time. So I have okay. just run a scan on your screen, you can see. Yeah. And so I'm trying to remove them and just stay on the line. Oh, hang on, I've got a missed call. Could... It's the bank number 3479. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Let me check. Okay. Uh, 3479, yes, last four digit, 3479. Okay, yeah, I've just missed the call so because I'm, I was on the line with you. Okay, no problem, so I'm disconnecting the call and you okay, can call then. with your bank. Thank you. And you're welcome. Okay. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. There we go. Hello, there's a John Thomas here. Hello, I'm speaking with John. Yeah, that's John Thomas. Is this the bank? Hi, John. This side, Ryan, from Bank of America. How are you doing today? I'm I'm doing all right there, uh, Ryan. But uh, I got a I was on the line with a, a technical person. He told me that mm -hmm. uh, somebody's been making purchases from Detroit, and uh, 
apparently they're using my details, so we, we need to stop any payments out of Detroit, please. Okay. So, like, when did did you see the charge on your statement? Uh, what? Well, uh, think. Uh, no. When I logged into the bank, I didn't see the charge, uh, but they said that um, it'd been made on uh, what do you call it? I forget now. Uh, the I was on the line with him for one and a half hours, and yeah, there was a charge there, and I'm I'm gonna have to familiarize and myself because he took a long time, you see. May I know the representative name whom you were speaking with? Oh God, what was his name? Uh, you know, he never told me to write it down. Uh, let me try and think. No, I, I don't remember. But he was uh, definitely he he was a technician. You see, he was from uh, uh, uh from the what is it, the Norton? Hello? Yeah, he was a technician from. He was a technician from Norton. Okay, from Norton. Okay. Yeah. So just bear with me. Let me go out and look, okay? Just bear okay. with me for a minute. Go ahead, please. All right, John. What you are able to see, can you let me know the last transaction? Uh, at the moment, uh, the, the technician here is doing a scan of the computer, so it, I ain't got my my bank. I can log into my bank once it's finished. He's just running some kind of scan here. It says uh, 180,000 files scanned. So I don't know how long it's going to take. Okay. Yeah. So right now, like, which is the nearest branch to your place? How far is the nearest branch? Oh, you, you want me to go physically to the bank? Right. Okay. Well, I, yeah, I can head off to the bank. You want me to head off now? I can head off now if you want. Or oh, should yeah, I wait for this scan to run on the computer? You can leave the computer as it is and you can head up to the branch. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll just leave it as it is and then I'll, I'll head off then. Right. You can head okay. up and let me know once yeah. you're in your call. Okay, then. So, what, do, do I hang up on you now or or do I keep you on the line while I'm driving to the store? Keep me on the call while driving to the store. Oh, okay then. Yeah, fair deacon. Uh, let me just go ahead and uh, get it going. I just got to get my wallet. There is a lot of background voice coming. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's a birthday in the house. Somebody having a birthday next door. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wish him happy birthday. Okay. And is this your cell phone number from where you're dialing? Uh, yeah, this is my cell. This is a cell phone number? Yeah. Do you need to send okay. me a text or something? No, 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 no. Okay, then. You are in your car? I'm just heading out on the driveway. Hold on. And John, tell me the last four digit of your social security number that's registered with us. Oh, uh, hold on, I'm just turning the string. Yeah, my last four of the social is, uh, 3148. Keep guessing it. 3148. It's not matching. What? It doesn't match in the account details. What do you mean it doesn't match? That's my social security details. No, I guess you're telling the wrong. Just uh, remember, try to remember it. And which state you're calling from? I'm calling from Atlanta, but the thing is I, I come from uh, Ohio. Okay, so yeah. right now you're in Ohio? No, I'm not in Ohio right now. I live there, but I'm not there right now. Okay, so right now you have reached this car? I'm driving, can't you hear the driving? No, I cannot hear the driving. All oh, right. Well, I don't know why you can't hear my car. You know, it's a pretty good car. Gets me from okay. here to there. You could have dialed from your cell phone, not the text now. Well, I got text now because it's cheap. Uh, okay. Then yeah. get a phone for you. I okay. got a phone. Now, I'm using the text now app for Android. You know, text now with the on Android and Google Play and 
each and every minute. Bye. Yeah. So how much time it will take you to reach? Ah, uh, no, 15, 20 minutes. <coughs> oh, it's far away. Far away. Far away through the front sides. I've and you can press the horn of your car. You got what? Can you, you do you have try? a horn in your car? Of course, every every car's got a horn. It's like an essential, an essential thing. Just thing press for it. A car. I think it's illegal to have a thing there, I think. Just press it once. Why am I going to press it once? You know, the Pope, oh, they're not too pleased with it with me beeping the horn. I ain't going to beep no horn. You stick You the tried horn. very well. I, I must say you tried very well. Tried what very well? You know what I'm talking about. No. Do you? I know that. You know what? Please enlighten me. You, I'm saying you tried very well. What do you mean you tried very well? If you, I think so you're smart enough to figure out that. No, I'm not. Are you smart? Then you should get, you should be getting smart. smart. You're getting smart? Why are you getting smart? Hello? Yes, sir. Hello? can you hear me? Can you hear me, sir? Uh, you are very quiet. Can you speak a uh, little bit louder? I can hear you. Can you hear me fine? Yeah, yeah, I hear you now. Okay, what is going on? What can I do? Am I speaking to Mr. John Thomas? Yeah, this is John Thomas. Right. All right. Hold on for a moment, sir. We have been working on your computer. You see, we are the computer person. Yeah, yeah. You're working on computer? Yes. Who is this? You're talking to Microsoft, sir. My, your name is Microsoft? Norton, no. Norton, Norton. We are from Norton. You're talking to David Wilson. And we are a subsidy oh. company of Microsoft Antivirus. Oh, you're Have from you heard Nor of Norton? You are from Norton? David Thomas? Is that yes. what you said your name was? David Wilson. David Wilson. Very good, yes. Okay. Yeah, this is John Thomas. What can I do? I don't think I'm talking to John Thomas because Why? I was just talking to him and your voice is different. Your accent is different. You, Because I have Indian accent, you're saying my name is not John Thomas? I'm not saying that about you, David Wilson. You have Indian accent too, man. What do you mean? But whatever it is, you are not John Thomas. And whatever it is, you're also not David Wilson. So I'm not John Thomas. You're not David Wilson. I, I, agree, I agree to that, sir. This is a company provided name. Oh, oh that is you your company provided name. My... So your name is yeah, not micro. Is your, your name is not name. Microsoft. No, sir. This it's is a N company Orton? provided name. N. Orton? Norton? Norton, yes. Norton. Okay. So what, okay, what, what is happened? What are we talking about? First of all, I need to disclose these information to Mr. John Thomas only because this is sensitive I information. I am John Which Thomas. How many times? One time, two time, three time. How many times I have to tell you I am John Thomas? I will tell you till infinity. John Thomas, many okay. times. Are, are you in front of your computer? I am in front of computer. I'm watching now computer. All right. Hold on. Don't do anything. Wait. Let right. me show you something. Okay. Show me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? What are you showing? I can't. Uh, my computer is just like uh, my dog. So you see Ultra Viewer on your computer? Yeah, There's I see an it. icon. Yes. Open, open you, the icon. Where is my viewer. dog? Did you kick my dog? What? Why did you do it? Why did you kick my dog? Why would I kick your dog, sir? No, the oh, dog is on if computer. I, I, did you kick it? I don't see dog. Is it gone? Uh, maybe, yeah, uh, the wallpaper has been... Yeah, the like, wallpaper of dog. You won't be I thought you kicked my yes, dog. Yes. That is why I asked why you have done such a thing. Was it a mistake why according would I to try you to or intentional you, act to, to kick my dog out of wallpaper? Just open the ultra viewer icon. Do you see this ultra viewer? Yeah, yeah, I see, ultra, ultra viewer ultra, icon. I see ultra viewer here. What about? Yes, open ultra viewer. It is open, man. I tell you right now, I have... Uh, Open the beaver, the ultra beaver. Yes. Now, do you see it says your ID? Tell me your ID at the left side. It says oh, your ID. 69, right? 
631 yes it's 450 yeah it starts with a 69 right that's a good way to start 69631450 right yeah 631450 and then a password Just is you know, 985069850698506 98506 all right now do you see at the bottom does it say ready to connect at the bottom no it says cannot get id cannot get id i don't know what that means cannot get id is red it's, it's a it's like a red uh, stop sign like stop cannot get yeah, id cannot get id do one thing just okay. x out exit x, out okay, right exit side out. top corner on that exit box out. x that out and then okay. again open it up okay open again all right uh order the uh, id uh is gone but the password is not it's a different uh, password right 64765 64765 but it says i can, cannot get id i don't know what it mean cannot get id it will be coming wait it you will, will be coming your id it's getting id okay it is getting it says it's getting id right it is getting okay i'm waiting for it to getting now is your internet connection working Uh, my internet connection is working yeah yeah it is uh, it All is right, saying it see? says getting it my says id it says getting my id still says getting your id yeah getting my id do you need me getting other id too like uh, i have to get wallet for the driver's license passport what you need it says getting my id so i have to go getting my id you don't need to get your id sir it says Wait. getting id getting id getting id getting id so i must get my own id see you kick my dog why did you do it all right now don't do anything wait why you kick my dog look where is my dog look look where is my dog you kicked it why did you do wait, it wait wait i am bringing your dog back wait oh you're bringing the dog back okay oh there is the dog okay okay beautiful doggy support me dot in what is dot in it is a indian website are you from india are you from india hello david david wilson we are not from india sir we are well, calling says, from michigan it says support me dot in o i n is that indiana it's in in like you know it's a website it, it's not oh, as opposed it's to website. out it is in not out it is in right yes right And where are you from, sir? Where am I from? I am from India. I'm uh, from Gujarat. What about you? What part of India you are from? And how does your name go, like John Thomas? Well, I don't know. How does your name, David Wilson, go, like David Wilson, when it's really probably it's, something else, no, right? No, no. It's a company-provided name, sir. Indian name. I I am saying that it, it is a company-provided name. Yeah. What what uh, your real name is more like uh, Terry uh, Gandu? No. Are you sure? Okay. So what? Uh, you you have my uh, my 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 puppy is back. Okay, my dog. Now what? Don't open my OnlyFans folder because it's OnlyFans. Okay. It's for OnlyFans. No no no. It's only about fans. Like the 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 fans is spinning. You know, it spin to get the air. Yes. right okay what let's go let's go move it move it along right it's like traffic in india right come on move it move it hurry up move get out of the way hurry up what is taking so long doing it for you wait man you are slow like uh, what do you call making uh, chicken tikka masala very slow what about how long it takes to make the naan bread right it takes a long time to make the naan bread so you are taking so long like making naan bread chop chop re up hmm? oh my goodness the, the screen is blue like the ocean a nice baby blue but it says working on updates do not turn off your system theek hai i think my computer is something's wrong it says working on updates why did it do it i just update last night oh okay don't do anything on the computer i didn't do anything are you trying anything. to turn off your computer No, my computer is on, but it's a uh, what do you call like uh, it's on the Microsoft website. It says proceed now in green bright button. Very 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 bright green. Proceed now. 
So, what? Okay, you were hanging up like that. That is easy. Oh, come on now. That's it, man. He had enough. He had it. <laughs>